Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the GoPro Hero 5 slash 6 external mic adapter. If you thought this review was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So why do you need this adapter, you might ask? Well, I think it's universally accepted that all GoPros have really crappy audio. And any filmmaker knows that the audio is more important than the video. GoPro, I think, forgot that, but they do make some great video. So right now, I'm recording the audio on the Pop Voice lav mic, and that's, of course, plugged into the external mic adapter. So here's a sample of the onboard mic on the GoPro Hero 5. You tell me what you think compared to the external mic. External mic sounds better, yeah? Okay, back to the external mic adapter. In addition to having the line-in port, it also has a USB-C port as well. I don't really know why they have that when you can just take the external adapter out and plug in your, your USB-C. So that's a quick overview of the product. So usually when I do these reviews, I start with the cons first. That way we end on a good note. So with that said, here comes the cons. The thing is big, bulky, and just plain ugly looking. The thing is huge. It literally weighs the camera down. It's like a not welcome, big external appendage. I feel like it makes the GoPro like the size of a DSLR. Okay, yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it almost makes it useless for action sports. In order to use this adapter, you have to take the door off of the side of the GoPro, and so basically it makes it not waterproof. So GoPro should probably do something about that. You can't buy any third-party adapters. You have to buy this one from GoPro for the 5 and 6 because there's encryption on it. And maybe that's why it's so big. And the reason why there's no third-party adapters is because of the encryption. No company has spent time trying to break the encryption to be able to make their own product for this. The thing is expensive. It's $49. That's pretty much it for the cons. So off to the pros we go. It allows you to use an external mic to record so you get a lot better sound. It's also great because then your video and audio is synced and I was getting tired of having to resync my audio like a hundred times a video. And that saves me a lot of time because now the audio and video are on one file and I don't have to do any of that syncing. This isn't directly related to the adapter, but in the GoPro settings and audio, there is a 20 decibel boost that you can use with the adapter if you need it. So that's pretty much it for the pros and cons. My final thoughts are, for me personally, it works fine because most of the time I'm just sitting here recording and I'm not really using the full potential of the GoPro. Like say if you want to do some sort of action sport like snowboarding, this adapter would literally mess up your entire setup. Honestly, I'd probably end up filming with something else altogether rather than having this external mic sticking out of the GoPro. I don't think anybody likes the size of this external mic, but it is necessary because the onboard audio on the GoPro sucks. So I wouldn't recommend it, but I would recommend it if you care about the quality of your videos, if that makes sense. So it depends on what kind of videos you're making. You be the judge and see if it's worth it to pay $49 for this thing. Hope you found the review helpful. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.